In today's app chat, a longtime rival crosses the line, and we see how you can come out the winner. Independent e-business consultant Francie Black is here right now to break down what it means now that Microsoft is offering its iconic programs in iPad-friendly apps. This yeah. is crazy. <laughs> it's wonderful. <laughs> You're loving it, aren't you? I am totally. I've been waiting for this for a long time. And I don't know if you recall, but I think it was in August, we did a segment on how do you do spreadsheets, word processing, right. what the best options are for that. And Microsoft didn't have a solution. But now they do, and they've done a great job. I give it, you know, five stars. Really, oh, wow. they, yeah, they've really done a great job. Good. So we're going to look at each program real quick. So starting off with Excel, and then Word, and then PowerPoint. Okay. But just to highlight some of the things. First of all, um, you can just click on any cell, and it brings up your keypad, and you can type in numbers. And it actually even has a special little keypad for rapid entry, which is nice. Nice. You can also filter if you convert your data into what's called an Excel table format. You can actually. Um, you know, do all of your sorting, ascending and right. descending. You can filter out criteria, which is excellent. And then you can even create char charts really easily. You just tap on your data, highlight it with your fingers, and then say insert chart, and presto, you You've have chart. You've got this. You've got this. Wow. Literally, this took me seconds to create. It was fabulous. And you can edit it and modify it. So those are just some of the key things. Very now, cool. lastly, for those superpower Excel users, <laughs> there's really a ton of formula and functions in here. Heavy duty statistical ones, logical ones, look up and reference. Wow. So it's not just for the the light user. The it's casual app. user. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. They go pretty deep. Now, while they don't have pivot tables, they do have great functionality. Okay. Now, in Word, of course, you can type into your bold, italics, underline, all those things. But one of the things I was impressed they incorporated into this is that you can even use the track changes. Um, feature of Word, which allows, say, me to make edits, and it'll make notes to you saying, hey, she made these edits, what do you Wonderful. think, and then you can comment back. So they've incorporated that, a lot of their great formatting features, and even the ability to insert images and graphics straight from your photos, right from your iPad, wow. and then you can shade them, crop them, frame them, all kinds of things. That's very useful. It's very useful, and it's really easy to do. Okay. For PowerPoint, they've really streamlined it. They wrote all of these from scratch. These are not ported over. They're raw new apps. They're all clean. Really great. Um, for PowerPoint, they've got great templates. This is just a template background. I pulled in these images. You can just Now, when you talk about it being clean in that transfer, that means that sometimes you get an app that is a program that's already offered by a company, and what they do is they bring it over, and there are a lot of glitches and There's hiccups. and Glitches, bugs, they're slow. They're not streamlined. This really uses the touch capability, the zooming. Um, you don't need an extra keyboard. You don't need a mouse. They nice. really optimize it specifically for the iPad, and it's really good. Okay. So right. you can insert tables, images here, shadows, reflections. Again, literally just by touching and going. Wow. Really good. Really good. Love you can do, set all your transitions, and then, of course, you can play your slides and so forth. So I even have one here. So what does it cost? Yes, there you go. <laughs> the Here's question. the zinger. <laughs> the question. All right. So if you want to just read your Word, Excel, PowerPoint docs without doing edits, it's actually free. And you can okay. download it from the store, all from right. the App Store. However, if you want to be able to edit and do all the things that I just showed you in any of those programs, it yes. is part of the Office 365 subscription model. Wow. Okay. So if you have Office 365, you can automate. I've already got this? You've got it. Oh, cool. Because yeah. I have that. You have that. I know you do. <laughs> but I have it for that yeah. price tag. Exactly. So for Office 365, and Microsoft is really pushing that, is it is $100 a year subscription. So you do get Word, PowerPoint, and Excel for the iPad, but you also get the other things that are included, which is a lot of storage space mm -hmm. on the OneDrive and some other apps as well. That's so. a lot of versatility, and it's all at your fingertips. And this is just part of what Francie has uncovered for us. If you want to find out more, go to our website, WLOS.com, and click on Tech Time. That's also where you can sign up to get Francie's e-newsletter with all the details and specific from this and the other app chats.